Hi kids, let me ask you a question first. Let's say you are going out on a sunny summer afternoon. How would it feel? Hot. Yes, you are right. It could really get hot on a summer day. Let's say you are going out on a snowy winter evening. How would it feel? Cold. Yes, it could get really cold on a winter day. All right now, let's learn about hot and cold. Hot and cold. Hot and cold are opposites. Okay. Now, let's look at some hot and cold things to understand it better. Soup and ice cream. Wow! Soup is hot. Ice cream is cold. Yes, you are right. Coffee and juice. Coffee is hot. Juice is cold. Yes. Burner and fridge. Burner is hot. Fridge is cold. Yes, you are right. Fire and snowman. Fire is hot. Snowman is cold. You are right. Volcano and igloo. Volcano is hot. Igloo is cold. Let's compare different hot objects. The burner and pizza are not as hot as a volcano. Volcano is super hot. In other words, you can say that they all have different temperatures. Now, let's compare other cold objects. Okay. Here, the juice and ice cream is not as cold as an igloo. In other words, they all have different temperatures. Right! Temperature is the measure of how hot or cold something is. If something is cold, it means that it has a lower temperature. Yes. If something is hot, it means that it has a higher temperature. Okay. Temperature is measured with an instrument called thermometer. Thermometer. Yes, you are right. Thermometer is a device used to measure temperature. Okay. This is a picture of commonly used thermometer. The parts of a thermometer are a glass tube, a bulb with a liquid and there are some markings with numbers on both sides which is called a temperature scale. There are two types of units on a temperature scale C and F. C stands for Celsius. F stands for Fahrenheit. Temperature is measured in degrees. When temperature is hot, the liquid inside the bulb expands and moves up and shows a value. When the temperature is cool, the liquid contracts and moves down the tube and shows a value. Right! To give you an idea, 
water boils at temperature 100 degree celsius or 212 degree fahrenheit let's read the thermometer the thermometer shows a value of 100 degree celsius or 212 degree fahrenheit okay Similarly, water becomes ice at 0 degree Celsius or 32 degree Fahrenheit. Okay. The value on thermometer shows 0 degree Celsius or 32 degree Fahrenheit. Let's look at how different temperatures feels like. Temperature below 32 degree Fahrenheit or 0 degree Celsius feels very cold. More like a cold winter day outside. Very cold. Temperatures between 32 and 50 degree Fahrenheit feels cold. Like inside a refrigerator. Cold. In Celsius scale, 0 to 10 degrees Celsius feels cold. Temperatures between 50 and 68 degrees Fahrenheit feels cool. Cool! Like a nice spring day in North America. In Celsius scale, 10 to 20 degrees Celsius feels cool. Temperatures between 68 and 86 degree Fahrenheit feels warm. More like warm indoors. Warm. In Celsius scale, 20 to 30 degree Celsius feels warm. Temperatures between 86 and 104 degree Fahrenheit feels hot. Like a hot summer day outside. Hot. In Celsius scale, 30 to 40 degrees Celsius feels hot. Temperatures between 104 and 122 degrees Fahrenheit is considered very hot, like a hot desert. In Celsius scale, 40 to 50 degrees Celsius feels very hot. Very hot. Temperatures above 122 degree Fahrenheit is extremely hot and it's like inside a hot oven or hot dryer. In Celsius scale, above 50 degree Celsius feels extremely hot. Wow! Now let's look at different type of thermometers. Some thermometers are used to measure room temperature. Some thermometers are used to measure body temperature. Some thermometers are used in cars or machines. There are other type of thermometers used while cooking or baking. Right! Hope you had fun. It was fun. Please subscribe.